My name is Anthony Sampson. I'm a solution architect at Walters Clure. I'm also a practicing enrolled agent. Today, I'm going to walk you through in tax wise when your client has unemployment income and they have an opportunity to use the unemployment income exclusion that the American Rescue Plan Act provides. So we're looking at this return. This client has $55,000 on their W-2 and earned income. The client also has a 1099-G of $15,000 in unemployment benefits that they received. What's going to happen is this $15,000 is going to automatically get carried over to the Schedule 1. And at the bottom of the Schedule 1, you'll see where TaxWise is taking into account what the client's modified AGI is. If the client's modified AGI is in excess of $150,000, then that client can exclude the first $10,200 of their unemployment benefits that they receive. So it's not being taxed. So right over here, we can see that $70,000 is what they have. Their, their modified AGI altogether is, so the client does qualify for this unemployment income exclusion. So when we scroll up to the top over here, we'll see that their unemployment income was $15,000. So of that $50,000, we're going to subtract $10,200. So of that, of their unemployment compensation, they're only being taxed on $4,000. $800. This $4,800 is going to carry over to the 1040 on page one. And on page one of the 1040, we've got the $55,000 in earned income and wages. But then over here, that $4,800 is being added in. And that's how we're arriving at the client's federal modified adjusted gross income of $59,800. Now, there's some states where unemployment income is not being taxed. For instance, let's talk about California for just a brief moment. In the state of California, unemployment income is not taxed. So what would happen is what TaxWise would automatically do, TaxWise has some calculations that are taking place to help you calculate the correct California just gross income. So back to this example, we've got this California return. We've got about $55,000 in state wages, but the federal AGI is $59,800. What California is going to do, California is going to subtract $15,000 from this because California does not tax unemployment benefits. And then it brings it down to $44,800. California is going to automatically do an add back because California starts at the federal adjusted gross income of $59,800. So what's going to happen is California does not tax unemployment benefits. So the $15,000 is being excluded, is being subtracted, and it's bringing it down to $44,800. Now what California is going to do is going to add back the $10,200 that was deducted on the federal side because California starts at the federal AGI when calculating taxable income. After that, that happens, we arrive at $55,000 as the California adjusted gross income of course, minus the California standard deduction or itemized deduction, then the California taxable income is $50,399. So there's a difference you'll see right over here of $55,000 is the California AGI, but the federal AGI is $59,800. Now, what happens in a return when we have some income that's in excess of $150,000. What's actually gonna happen? So let's come back over to this W-2, and inside this W-2 with the $55,000, we're gonna go ahead and put $155,000, right? So we're crossing over that threshold. You can see we've got some balance dues over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the Schedule 1, and when I click at, click at the Schedule 1 and come down to the bottom over here, you're going to see this icon in red. And the reason why it's red is because we have to click this button in order to remove the unemployment exclusion from the taxpayer because their modified AGI is in excess of $150,000. Now, if we make a mistake and forget to do this, that's okay because our diagnostics will point, to, point this to our attention and take us directly over here and let us know. Please check the box on line two of the unemployment exclusion worksheet to zero out the unemployment exclusion. We come down over here, we're gonna zero out that exclusion, directly get zeroed out. And once we've zeroed that out, then you'll see over here, we've got an AGI of $170,000 is our AGI. But let's come back to California for just a brief moment. Notice that California automatically, to what TaxWise does behind the scenes, it's gonna remove that $10,200 exclusion. It's gonna remove that from the state return. So all that's happening is California is just deducting the 15,000 because it's not taxing the unemployment compensation. It's not doing an add back of the federal unemployment exclusion because we removed it from the federal return. So notice now the California just gross income is 155,000 but the federal adjusted gross income is 170,000. 
benefit. So California is not taxing the unemployment benefits. Now let's take a second here for a moment. What if you're in a different state? What if you have clients in different states? How do you keep up with this? How do you know what's changing? I'll give you a good example. Let's go to our support site. And on our support site, what we've been posting as states are making updates, some states haven't made their final decision yet as to whether they're going to conform to the American Rescue Plan Act or whether they're going to decouple from it. So for instance, we've got the updates that we've been placing here on our support site. Once you click on one of these, like this Maryland update, you'll see an explanation right over here as far as what Maryland is actually doing. You see that Maryland is going to follow the American Rescue Plan Act. You can see an explanation of it right here. And if you do, Maryland is still making some adjustments to their forms to asking taxpayers to please wait until at least April 15th when all state forms will be ready for federal and state legislative changes. However, Kentucky, on April 1st, Kentucky announced that they will not be conforming to the American Rescue Plan Act. And they're saying that the $10,200 will be taxed. So all unemployment compensation earned as a Kentucky resident is subject to Kentucky income tax. So they're telling your taxpayers that on Schedule M Line 5 is to put the addition where that $10,200 was excluded so i'll show you how that works inside of tax wise so let's come over here to this kentucky return where you can see we've got about fifteen thousand two hundred dollars unemployment benefits received we've got this w2 where the client received fifty five thousand dollars in earned income but what i want to do i want to take a moment here and let's click on the schedule one at the schedule one you'll see okay we've got the fifteen thousand two hundred dollars here's the federal unemployment compensation exclusion the uce you can see that that's at ten thousand two hundred dollars now, this is actually being supported from Worksheet 7, just so you know if you're curious as to where this is coming from. All right. Well, let's come back over to Schedule 1, that $10,200. This is going to flow over to Schedule 1, and that's kind of what's going on behind the scenes. So you can see that. And so on the federal side, $5,000 of the unemployment income is being taxed. However, in the state of Kentucky, let's come over to the Kentucky return and look at this. The AGI is $60,000 but we haven't done the ad back, right? So according to the instructions, instructions Kentucky wants their taxpayers to go to schedule M line number five and add back in the $10,200. When I come back over here to schedule M and what you'll do is you'll click over here and you'll add in one of the actual worksheets and we'll put in this UCE ad back of $10,200. And once I place it in over here, I can come back over to the schedule M Here's that UCE add back to $10,200. You can see that. And now I'll move back over to page one. And on page one, you'll see, okay, there's a $60,000 of federal adjusted gross income because Kentucky starts off the federal AGI. We did the add back of $10,200. So $70,200 is the Kentucky adjusted gross income. And then you can see how we're arriving at the taxable income. And the reason why we're doing this is because Kentucky has not conformed kentucky has announced they're not conforming to the Re american rescue plan and that all unemployment compensation earned as a kentucky resident is subject to kentucky income tax so if the client has some resident non-resident income or part year resident income here's the worksheet that they'll actually use and they'll identify the state that they're working with right over here a non-resident state and then towards the bottom as i scroll down you'll see that fifty five thousand dollars in wages the fifteen thousand two hundred dollars unemployment income and then we'll subtract that the ten thousand two hundred dollars in the unemployment compensation exclusion you'll enter over here the positive number for the stage for those add backs you'll definitely enter the add backs and we have a positive number right over here towards the bottom of the form now, another way to keep up with all these changes, like we mentioned, we've got our support site where we mention these various different items. We even have on our Answer Connect page, we've got a state COVID response because there's some states that are conforming to the May 17th deadline and some states that are not. We've got everything broken down state by state, our state COVID-19 coronavirus responses. We also have CCH smart charts that you can use where you can get a further explanation state by state, like perfect example, Colorado, they're actually going to be taxing the unemployment benefits. It's it's not going to be excluded. So definitely using our Answer Connect solution is going to allow you to stay on top of what's changing with the state, state by states. We're also providing some updates on our support site on the uh, TaxWise blog. And as states are coming in with some changes as far as whether they're conforming or not conforming, we still have some states that are still uncertain. It actually has to go through a legislative decision. So, so we're still waiting for that to happen. There's some states that have not really processed through the legislative decision. You can see a list of these right over here on our support site. And for more detailed analysis information, you can use our CCH Answer Connect to get that further in-depth analysis.